So a patient received 10 gray for a skin treatment. What effects may be seen and when? What if this were too gray to the entire body? What are concerns you may have in steps if a patient is internally contaminated? And what are the cancer risks perceived? So first things is it's very good to know the stochastic and, and specifically the deterministic effects of something like 10 gray to the skin. So the first thing is that we are going to see some epilation. So they're going to lose the hair on their, their arm or their skin, wherever it may be. You're going to see some erythema, so reddening of the skin. And then there is going to be some dry desquamation. At 10 gray, we are not quite to the level where we'll see much wet desquamation. And also specifically know that the effects for this dose range are probably going to be seen 10 to 24 days after the fact. So if this were two gray whole body, which is within the the bone marrow effects is essentially what you're going to see. That is if you get two sievert or greater. So remember, uh, photons and sieverts are essentially equal. So that means two sieverts can be equated to two gray, meaning that you will have some of those bone marrow effects. And that is going to be two to three weeks later. And then what concerns if someone or a patient is internally contaminated? So internal radiation, damage can be fast acting. And there are really two strategies to reduce, to pretty much eliminate the contamination. So those are to reduce the absorption or increase the elimination and excretion of the radiation. So, for example, you can use agents that soak up a nuclide like uh, potassium iodide. That soaks up iodine. You could use a Prussian blue. That soaks up cesium, etc. And those are chelating materials is what they call them. And then finally, what are the cancer risks per sievert? So, one sievert has a 5% cancer death risk. It's good to just know these right off the top of your head. And if there's something, a question, you could always throw this in there. It's radiobiology. It's one of the categories within ABR Part 3. So you never know when it may be handy. So if you have any questions about this particularly, know your stochastic and deterministic effects. Know when they're going to happen, how badly they're going to be and then no internally contamination things as well, and then any general stats that seem intriguing and something that could be relevant enough that you think they may ask, like, what's the cancer risk if you get a one gray, something like that. If you have any questions, please comment below. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.